This is GTV, a truly historic channel. Ura, ura. Oh, the wonderful world of localization. The art of taking a video game, or a movie, or an album, or a book, and moving it from one region to another, while along the way, altering it in certain ways to make the audience in the new region better understand or appreciate said game, movie, album, or book. In the gaming world, this has been going on since nearly the beginning, especially in bringing games from Japan to the West. Naturally, the language gets changed, but so often, too, does the title, character designs, and even sometimes the music. Some of the more famous examples are Doki Doki Panic becoming Super Mario Bros. 2, Kato-chan and Ken-chan becoming JJ and Jeff, Kamen no Ninja Hanamaru becoming Yo Noi, Majin Eiyu Den Wataru becoming Keith Courage, Dragon Slayer 4, the Draslay family, becoming Legacy of the Wizard. I made a few videos about these already, but just the ones that I thought were interesting. But a certain game series never really gets mentioned on this list. A game series and a character that has had more names and different versions than any other character ever. That's this guy. Though that's just one of his many names. Sit back and let's relive the history of the many names of Bonk, a story one million and thirty years in the making. Our story begins in 1989, when Hudson Soft released the first Bonk game for the Japanese PC Engine, known in America, but not by many as the TurboGrafx-16. Here's where you have to follow closely, because in Japan, this character was not called Bonk. He was known as PC Genjin, a play on the name of the hardware he was made for, PC Engine. The PC in PC Genjin stands for Pithecanthropus Computerus. This is the Latin binomial, that is, a universal name given to all living organisms that is recognized by scientists worldwide. When reading a binomial, the first word refers to the genus that organism belongs to, and the second name is the species that organism belongs to. Easy to understand examples are Tyrannosaurus rex or Felis domesticus, while humans are known as Homo sapiens. The Japanese word Genjin means, in a scientific sense, Homo erectus, which is also known as Pithecanthropus and can loosely refer to any primitive man. So the whole name, PC Genjin, would mean, loosely, computerized caveman. In the game, the name PC Genjin also refers to Bonk in his normal state, by which I mean without any power-ups. If Bonk eats different kinds of meat found in the game, he will power up. As it's pointed out in the instruction manual of the game, his name changes with each step. The first step, gained by eating a small meat, gives him the name PC Engin, meaning, literally, a monkey man. Eating a second small meat, or just one big one, changes Bonk again, and then he is known as PC Henjin, meaning loosely a weirdo. And I mean, just look at him, it's weird. Jump ahead to the next year, 1990, and PC Genjin comes to America. Except, in America, the PC Engine is called the TurboGrafx-16. To keep it simple and catchy, with just the right dose of early 90s tood, PC Genjin was renamed Bonk. It really is the best name to have, as it lets the player at home easily connect to the game's core gameplay mechanic, literally bonking your head on things to get through the level. It's also short, catchy, easy to remember, and fits well on a poster. Then came PC Genjin 2, known in English as Bonk's Revenge. Something strange happened along the way, because the Japanese instructions of the first game call the Bonk move a headbutt. But by the time the next game came around, the move was called Bonk in Japanese, and the name Bonk can be seen written on the walls of the game, in some places. It's also coincidental that the term graphics was brought into Japan, as the PC Engine, at least the main unit that plays Hue cards, was renamed the Core Graphics and later Core Graphics 2, taking the name from the English Turbo Graphics after the release of the CD ROM ROM peripheral. Yeah, Super Graphics 2. Never forget. 
Anyway, in PC Genjin 2, Bonk has two different names for his power-ups. PC Bijin, or Beautiful Person, and PC Funjin, loosely meaning an eruptive person, as Bonk spews fire with this power-up like a volcano. These names would be used again in PC Genjin 3 as well. In PC Genjin 3, aka Bonk 3, Bonk's Big Adventure, the size up and size down from Bonk eating candy gives the names Ai Genjin, or Great Caveman, when big, and Mame Genjin, or Bean Caveman, when small. There's also Kani Genjin, when you're a crab. What came after that was in those days an unusual event, as Bonk moved to Europe, with Bonk's adventure being released for the Amiga computer in 1992, where he was given the name BC Kid. BC, of course, meaning the era before Christ was born. Now, the Turbo Graphics was released in Europe, but just barely. NEC never shipped more than a handful, and it appears Bonk was never formally released there. So while they did have a perfectly workable name, though nothing to connect it to, they chose BC Kid for whatever reason. Though he still retained the Latin binomial Pithecanthropus Computerus. That's all for the original set of games, but we're just getting started. More to come after this. TurboGrafx-16 is about to knock video games back into the Stone Age. It's 10,000 years ago. You're a cave dude. You are carnivorous. You've got to bonk 28 stages of prehistoric bad guys to rescue your excellent looking princess. And you've only got one weapon. Bonk's Adventure, only on the TurboGrafx-16 system. In 1992, Bonk appeared on the Game Boy for the first time. The PC Engine was firing on all cylinders in Japan, and limping along in America. But as Hudson Soft wasn't solely a first or third party maker, they just kinda did whatever. And moving to the Game Boy opened up Bonk to a whole new audience, particularly outside of Japan. The American game title stayed the same, Bonk's Adventure, as did Europe with BC Kid. For Japan, it was changed to GB Genjin. The GB was never explained further, but with his power-up state, he again gains new nicknames. Eat a small meat, and GB Genjin becomes GB Ganjin, a stone man. Reach full power with two small meats or one big one, and he becomes GB Kyojin, which means a yelling person. In Bonk's adventure for Game Boy, Bonk can use his voice as an attack when in a powered-up state. Wow. There's also Kame Genjin, where Bonk morphs into a turtle with a protective shell. In Bonk's Revenge for Game Boy, there are four more naming variations based on power-ups. In this game, the power-ups are not based on a level system, but a roulette wheel based on luck. You can gain one of the following abilities. GB Tatsujin, or Master, which gives Bonk double speed and power. GB Tojin, or Thief. Also note that the costume is different in Japan and elsewhere. GB Shokujin. This literally means cannibal. In English, this mode was referred to as Hungry Bonk, which, now that you know he was called a cannibal in Japan, makes for a pretty good laugh. There's also a Power Down. GB Kegajin, which means injured person. If you lose a bonus stage battle against Mecha Genjin, you'll be powered down and take double damage thereafter. 
There was a third GB Genjin game released between 1 and 2 called GB Genjin Land Viva Chikun Kingdom, which was a mini game collection that had no power ups, surprisingly. All three of these games were sold together as a set later on. The games came in a box like a package of band aids. How cute. Bonk also made an appearance on the NES as a scaled down 8 bit version of Bonk's Adventure appeared in 1993. I emphasize 8-bit, as the PC Engine was 16-bit, and I'll hear no disagreement about it. In Japan, Bonk was called FC Genjin, FC being short for the family computer, as Nintendo never really did call it a Famicom, if you recall from a previous video. Beyond family computer, FC actually stood for two things. In the game, FC stands for Freakthoperus Computerus, though on the box it stands for Friendthoperus Computerus. I guess he's your friend, and he's a freak as well. There's still more, as Bonk had his own spin-off shooting game in 1992, known in America as Air Zonk, the plot of which involves Zonk and his friends setting out to stop the robot army of King Jeruel III. If you're really digging deep for game trivia, the game takes place on April 4th, 2999, so be sure to commemorate it when the day comes around. In Japan, Hudson kept the funny names rolling, calling Zonk PC Denjin. This time, PC means Punkic Cyborg. Even though they pronounce Punkic as Panic in Japanese, both work. He is, after all, a robot who moves at a frenzied pace, which is what Panic actually means in Japanese. And he and his friends are a bit punky, what with the lightning bolt mohawk and all. Denjin literally means electric man. Really though, it's even more layered than that because the Punk X Cyborgs is the name of the group of robots that you play in the game, with Zong actually being called Genhead, a portmanteau of Genjin and Gunhead, which Zong is kind of a loose parody of. In America, Zong got his name through a contest held by TTI, though behind the scenes they had already had the name picked out and just assumed someone would come up with the name. So they held a prize giveaway to choose the name of this new character and gave the prize, probably a copy of the game, to the first person who submitted Zonk as a name. Air Zonk was soon followed up with Super Air Zonk, Rockabilly Paradise in 1993 for the TurboGrafx Super CD-ROM-ROM, -ROM, aka Turbo Duo, or as it was known then, The Duo. It was a wholly different game and not just a CD remake, as a few games were back in those days. Super Air Zonk was given the name CD Denjin in Japan to show off the game being on a CD ROM ROM, even though in the ending Tema, he's still called a punkic cyborg. That's the end of the second phase of Bonk's evolution, but there's more to come after this. After the PC Engine series of games came to an end, Bonk moved to the Super Famicom with a pair of games in 1994 and 1995. Known in America as Super Bonk and in Europe Super BC Kid. In Japan though, Bonk was called Cho Genjin. Cho basically has the same meaning as Super, and since every Super Famicom and Super NES game had to have Super tacked onto the title, Cho Genjin makes for a pretty good name. Actually, there were only 187 games out of 1,758 for the Super NES and Super Famicom that had Super in the title, 
or about 10.63%, but it sure felt closer to 90 or 95% back then, didn't it? Anyway, Chogenjin adds two more nicknames based on power-up, Golgo Genjin, which gives Bonk the eyebrows of Golgo 13, and Nyohei Genjin, another manga reference, but one so obscure, nobody will ever get it. Basically, Nyohei Fukuda is a character in a long-forgotten manga series, and it was about a pop singer who was crazy or something. With no power-up, Bonk is called Futsu Genjin, or a normal caveman, an ironic pun on the game being super. In Cho Genjin 2, these power-ups come along for the ride, but there are more and even crazier ones than these. There's Geishi Geishi Genjin. Geishi is a type of water insect. Zombie Genjin. That's pretty self-explanatory, as is Chameleon Genjin. Another animal variation is Mogura Genjin, which turns Bonk into a mole. And the best power-up of the game, Kintama Genjin, which turns Bonk into King Drool, the main antagonist of the series, who in Japan was called King Tamago, or Kintama for short. Like oh so many games and characters of this era, when the world went 3D, Bonk fell off the map and went into hiding for a while until it was decided that 2D was cool again. Actually, it was posers that decided that. We always knew it was cool. But Bonk did have a comeback in 2003 with a remade game for PlayStation 2 and GameCube. Bonk kept his original name of PC Genjin, thankfully saving everyone's sanity. But with one game being on the GameCube, the game just calls out to be called GC Genjin. GameCuberous Genjin. I mean, come on! There's also the fact that GameCube games were sometimes cataloged as GCN, so I'm told I never actually had one. So GC Engine would have been a nice fit too. As for the other game, PS2 Genjin is kind of a stretch. I guess lower budget remakes don't have the money to hire someone to come up with something a little more clever. Did you know that there were bonk games that never made it to the store? Yeah, a few actually. The most famous one was known unofficially as Bonk 4. The game was shown only a few times in game magazines around 1992, despite Bonk 3 not being out until 1993. And it wasn't going to be your standard Bonk game either. It was going to be an RPG, probably the coolest idea for an RPG that will never get to play. In Japan, the working title was RPC Genjin with RP meaning roleplay. I think some places may have called it RPG Genji, which also makes sense. Since it never saw the light of day, I guess it doesn't matter what you call it. There was an attempt to put Bonk on the N64, but before it even became anything, it was turned into Bomberman. That's just to quiet the super nitpickers, and it doesn't really matter. Just thought I'd add it in there. But then there was Bonk's big comeback. No, not Bonk's return for old-style push-button phones from 2006. I mean Bonk, Brink of Extinction, for PlayStation 3, Wii, and Xbox 360 in 2010. The game was finished enough to show off, but never made it to the stores. As it never saw official release, we'll never know what they'd have called it in Japan. But with weird new power-ups, I'm sure they would have had fun with it. Despite all these different names across regions and hardware, Hudson did one thing from the start that was very brilliant. Maybe they knew it all along, from the start, that this game would be put through the localization ringer. And that is, whether you call him Bonk, or PC Genjin, or whatever else you want, he's known worldwide by his Latin binomial, Pithecanthropus computerus, which, as I said at the start of this, is how those in scientific circles understand each other and can cross language barriers. For that, Hudson and Red, we thank you. Now that you know more about Bonk, his adventure, and his nomenclature, why not go out and play the games? Thankfully, the inheritor of Hudson Soft's legacy, Konami, saw fit to release a mini machine that plays Bonk and a lot of other great games, available from March 19, 2020. It's known as the PC Engine Mini in Japan, Turbo Graphics 16 Mini in the US, and Core Graphics Mini in Europe. Way to keep it real.